That was mad, mad work. I worked for over a week and a half on that shit. Tattoo art, graffiti art, pipe art. It's expression, you know, in general. It's like subcultures all tied together by a certain group of people that are bored with what everyday life has to offer. That feeling of competition without consequence helped us develop new styles at just incredible speeds, like just constantly one-upping each other. I've been accused of creating a form of Americana art and uh, being its founder. This is uh, it's a 1979 Volkswagen. This is going to be a mobile studio. I'm taking this guy on tour. Hey Slinger, how long do you think it's going to be before, you know, none of this is anything we have to worry about getting filmed? In my heyday, I'd say I had about 50 glass blowers and probably seven warehouses in total, yeah. And then poof, the DEA came and dragged me out of bed at six in the morning, took me off to jail. We can assure worried parents that today there are 11 dot coms that are dot gone. They are arresting artists based on the the laws that the future owner was going to break, and so it was this kind of crazy concept. My congressman wrote a letter to the judge saying, it's all right that he makes glass pipes. <laughs> so who do you ask, you know? How do you find out that you're a, you're a criminal? I have had a police officer that was in here say to me, it's not paraphernalia unless it's been used. $420 hemp fest special, check it out. So nothing in here is illegal, it hasn't been used. Are pipes legal? Are pipes legal? No. It's an underground movement that uh, is thriving and growing and expanding, and that makes me really proud to be a part of it. I'm not surprised that a pipe's not in a gallery, but I'm definitely going to be thrilled when one does get there. If you put it in the context of art, then it is art. Sometimes it's a controversial subject, but uh, it is as legitimate as art as anything else in the world. However certain movements like grow, you know, there's certain constrictions and rules that'll define them. And the fact that it's underground, it's moving outside the barriers, boxes, or structures. So the pipe making subculture has been able to expand in sort of a limitless realm of possibility. 